everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go over a really cool new feature in Filmora 13.5, and that's the ability for AI to clone your voice and use it in text-to-speech. Now, before I jump into that, I'm going to show you how you can learn about the latest Filmora features. So if you are already in a project, what you can do is click on this icon here, and there's an option to get creative. And this will open up the Creator Hub. This is also accessible when you first open up Filmora. There'll be an option for the Creator Hub. And you'll learn about uh, tutorials and different popular videos. So different techniques for, for, for video editing. So a really cool thing to check out if you're if you're looking for ideas as to what to do when editing videos. Now, back to the AI cloning. So I'm gonna show you how we can set this up. So for starters, I'm gonna add some text here. So add some quick text. And what I'm gonna do is add some text that describes the Filmora 13 um, AI voice cloning. And under text to speech, you'll see there's an option to use a voice clone to create your own custom voice. So I'm gonna click on clone voice and it's gonna ask you to agree to terms of use here, record consent. And so now I'm gonna record my voice and I'm gonna use this for, for my text to speech. So I'm gonna try this out and see how well it clones my voice. So let's go, give it a go. I, the video creator, am aware that recordings of my voice will be used by Wondershare Technology Group to create and use a synthetic version of my voice. One day, a monkey rides his bike near the river. This time, he sees a lion under a tree. The lion runs at him. He's afraid and falls into the river. He can't swim. He shouts. The rabbit hears him. He jumps into the river. The rabbit swims to the monkey, but he can't help him. Luckily, an elephant comes along. He is very strong. He helps the rabbit and monkey. Three friends are very happy. They go to the elephant's home. Then three of them become good friends. So now I hit the option to clone voice, and now it's going through the process of recognizing my voice and cloning it. And once it's done doing this, I can now use this voice for any text-to-speech that I want to set up. So that way I can use any, any titles that I create, any text that I decide to add to my videos. Instead of trying to um, dictate all of that myself, I can use AI to replicate that using, using my voice. So now it's got my voice in there as voice one, and I'm gonna hit the generate button now to do text to speech. And now it's gonna go through the process of updating, transcribing, and converting that into my voice. And so we'll see how close it gets or how, how similar it sounds to my voice when it's, all, when it's all done. So now it's complete. And now we can see that the audio clip is there. So I'm gonna to try to play this with that text. So now let's hear what, it's, what it sounds like. AI voice cloning is a tool that creates synthetic copies of human voices. It analyzes audio recordings to imitate the tone, pitch, and unique characteristics of a person's voice. Just 20 seconds of recorded audio are sufficient to produce a near identical replica of your voice. Voice cloning begins by capturing users' voice through recordings, serving as AI learning material. The AI then analyzes these audio samples to identify distinct characteristics like intonation and accent. While this tool has diverse applications, from enhancing digital experiences to aiding speech impairments, ethical use is crucial. So that was a really cool and accurate, I think, um, voice using my own voice. Obviously a little, a little different than if I would have spoken it, but at the same time, it takes care of the issues you might have when dictating audio yourself where you, you make mistakes or you stumble and um, it's a lot smoother and a lot easier to do. So it's a really good feature to, to check out in, in Filmora that can really make it a lot easier when you're narrating videos or adding voiceovers to them. So a really cool feature worth checking out in Filmora 13.5.